From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Health officials wrapping up a full week of coronavirus vaccinations in the islands with a stop in Bimini today. They're hoping increased vaccination numbers will allow the government to drop emergency orders sometime in August, but that'll depend on those numbers. The Nurses Union is urging the government to be cautious about that plan. Top infectious disease specialist Dr. Nakia Forbes says that decision will depend on what's going on at the time. Public health measures and vaccination strategies can keep numbers low in country. So then we can look at that and how that is going to impact our lives going forward. And I'm sure that would have a play when policymakers decide. More than 80,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine have been administered in the country now. There was another jump in confirmed cases reported for Wednesday, especially in the capital. 43 of 60 total cases here, 12 in Grand Bahama. Officials will watch the numbers through the first weekend of the new curfew hours. More than 600 active cases still out there, 37 persons in hospital, four in the ICU. A 40-year-old New Providence woman is the latest victim. The death toll is now 245. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police investigating the latest murder and an apparent drowning heading into the weekend. The man shot and killed in the Pierdale area identified as Christopher Humes Jr. They're waiting for the autopsy report to determine how the man whose body was pulled from waters off the Potters Key dock died. No visible signs of trauma on his body. Fifteen Cubans taken off on Gila Key by the Defense Force now being processed at the Carmichael Road Detention Center. Labor Minister folks expecting a big jump in jobs in the coming months mainly in the tourism sector. The new expansion at Bahama has created 500 construction jobs and 700 permanent jobs. Nassau Cruise Ports has created 500 construction jobs and hundreds of permanent jobs upon completion. The newly expanded and renovated Sandals Hotel has employed hundreds of Bahamians in its construction stage and will employ 1,000 Bahamians on a permanent basis when they reopen. That in the Senate, which is finishing up work on the budget for the next fiscal year. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s, 77 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 79 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the sea is 3 feet or less. Low tide now, the next high around 10 this evening. Saturday's forecast, partly sunny, highs in the upper 80s, pop-up showers are likely. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about heading into the weekend. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World News headlines The death toll from that high rise building collapse in South Florida in the U.S. is increasing, and the search continues for those persons unaccounted for when the 12 story structure partially collapsed while persons were sleeping. The Israeli government now considering putting some coronavirus restrictions back in place as the Delta variant continues to spread in our country. Meantime, tens of thousands of persons attended a pride parade in Tel Aviv, the Israeli capital today, one of the largest public gatherings since the onset of the coronavirus. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's plenty of soccer and major tournament heading to a climax in Europe now. John Quell Jones is back in the WNBA. Her team scheduled to play Sunday against Chicago. Game two in the NBA East Finals tonight. The Hawks looking to take another game in Milwaukee. Jazz on the Marlins against the Washington Nationals tonight. Game two in that series. There's pro golf on TV, including a major women's tournament, the PGA Championship being played this weekend. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find 
in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 